The following video is brought to you by the guys at the Wrecking and Racing Podcast, a NASCAR podcast made by the fans for the fans. Check them out at www.wreckingandracing.com, facebook.com slash Wrecking and Racing, and Twitter at Wrecking and Racing. Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, Saka here, and welcome back to another episode of Motorsport Manager. When we last left off, we had completed the season. We are in between seasons. It's time to clean up. And there's some things that we have to address. Uh, looking at the mail, it looks like Toby Hart, the race mechanic, and Falco, the driver, is up for, you know, re-signing. Uh, Toby is, you know, four and a half star potential. Uh, we'll renew his contract. He's interested. We'll go ahead and start the negotiations. Uh, wages are not very important to me. We'll see if he takes... Let's see... That's 10,000 more per race. Can we get him a pay cut? All right, contract length, a long contract. There you go, 36 month. All right, bonus size isn't very important. How about a fifth or above is $12,000 for qualifying. And then if we get a podium third or above, you get uh, 60,000. Sure, why not? All right, we'll send that proposal. The other one is Falco. So the question is, do we keep Falco on? I mean, he's a handful, but I think there are also better drivers out there. If we look at our favorites and we sort by the ability, um, let's see, one million per race. If we can find someone who's better than Falco, five-star potential, and Falco costs us how much per race? I mean, 561,000? Oh, no, 472, even better. So, 472. Hmm. Let's see if we can... Because, I mean, Mitsuki Naito looks really, really good. He's a number two. We can make him the number one. You're not interested. Well, you should be. Dang it. All right. Going down the list. Uh, Masahiko Tanakuchi. 711 per race. So he's maxed out. Now if we can compare him with Falco. Let's see. Better. Better. Better smoothness, better overtaking, same consistency, better adaptability, better fitness. Little worse on the feedback, but really, really focused. See, burns more fuel than usual. A first lap hero. Uh, that'll go away. That'll go away. Terrible marketability as well. So the question is, do we favor ability over... Marketability. Because I think Tanakuchi might be able to win us some races. Let's see if we can approach him. Nope, he's not even interested. Come on, I finished third in the overall team championship. What will probably happen is that the... They don't want to talk. You're unsigned. You're one, you're one market a bit marketable. You have a win in Scanscrum and you got kicked to the curb. Your morale is low. But I mean, he's nearly better than Falco. He doesn't give as good a feedback. He's more fit, not as adaptable, but more consistent, more overtake, more smooth, better corner, better breaker. I think the marketability hit is what really, really hurt him. And he's, he's a five-star potential. All right, so your status isn't too important, but if we make you a number one driver, wages are fairly important. Let's go to 508. Let's see, a medium contract we can give you. You'd like a nice sign-on fee. Well, what do you consider nice? Half a million? 
Bonus size isn't important, but we'll we'll grease the palms a bit. How about 48? And then if you finish in the top three, bonus size is important. How about 72? We'll just we'll just send that proposal, see if he bites on it. Let's see, Partinen. No, you're not up for another year. Ibarra. 700 grand per race. Now your consistency hurts because you are erratic. So you're not very consistent. Everywhere, everywhere else is good. I don't think we want to... He's considering offers as well. Let's just see. Your status is important. You'll be our number one. Wages are important. We'll do the 470. A short contract, fine. We'll sign you for a year. You don't mind? Then you pay it all. All zero dollars of it. You'd like a nice sign-on fee. 600. And then your bonus sizes are important. We'll do the standard. See if these drivers bite. If, if not, we can re-sign Falco. I'm pretty sure he'll be happy. It's just, I think there are better guys out there than Falco. I will go ahead and continue. All right, car repair is complete. Car repair is finished. Were we... Yeah, I think all of our parts are improved to the max that we are going to carry over. 885 and 830, 1014 and 984. 926 and 896, those two. Yep, all parts are done. Enjoy the off season, boys. All right, prize money. This is where it comes into play. All right, prize money, receive the prize money. $20 million. Certainly not bad. And I think this season, I'm not going to buy any buildings. I'm going to focus solely on parts and parts alone. Torin GT is manager of the season. Hannah is driver of the year. Panther race to retire. Chairman to retire. A lot of chairmen to retire. But not us. We've got more years than us. Hopefully just one. All right, so advanced ERS, high merit payments, and three dry weather compounds. Vittorio Corsa is now in the International GT. Lockhart Motorsport went back to Challenger. All right, contact proposal. Oh, and we've got sponsors to sign as well. That's awesome. All right, so Kritz ran way out of patience, really insulted by his wages. How about 800000 per race? Jeez. Fine. If you win the race... You get 100000 How about that? Half a million sign-on fee. Last chance. I'm sure he'll find somewhere else to go. If we don't sign him. All right, contract proposal for Toby. Let's see if our engineer has re-signed. Not resigned, but re-signed. Back to the negotiation table. You're insulted at your cost per race. Look, your wages aren't very important to you. Why are you mad? Fine, 93 per race then. I tell you, if you finish third in the championship and all of a sudden your guy's got delusions of grandeur. All right, two offers on the table, two offers on the table, one on the table. Let's see, Toby is considering Ibarra. Insulted at nearly everything. So right now he's rocking 772,000 per race. Let's go 822. Sign-on fee. I'd like a nice sign-on fee. 900,000, that's it. Well, okay. One, two, one, two. And you know what? You got to win. Yeah, I'm relying on the fact that Falco will just re-sign. 
Preseason start. Sponsor offers up. Yeah, I don't want to blow all of my money on drivers when we can do parts. So another 10 million in the bank for the car, 27 million. So improvability, fuel efficiency. I like the plus nine stat modifier. Let's see, fuel. Fuel efficiency strong, improvability very weak. For an extra million, we could do that. Let's see, material supplier. Strong and medium heating. We'll do four there. Let's see, brake supplier. We'll save some money there. All right, supercapacitor is a small energy store, battery ERS, flywheel. It lasts longest when in hybrid mode. It also has good life when using power. So 23 of our $27 million in the car. Oof. That's, uh, that's interesting. We'll go ahead and confirm that. We need some sponsors, though. Here we go. All right. An upfront payment would be nice. 100000 per race. So $2 million or... But no upfront payment. Or six races at 600000 plus 5 million or 500000 for 1.1. And then whatever we get paid in the four races leading up to the 10. I think Brutus might be better just for the upfront payment. We might be able to design a part fairly quickly and get things out onto the, to the docket here. 10th, 11th, or 10th or above. Three times in Japan. We can do 10th or above. So if Japan is not in our... Where's our calendar here? If Japan is not in the first... No. Japan is late, late. So that sponsor doesn't make any sense to grab. So four races, it's the same, but in this way, we get $800,000 upfront payment, and it's four races. So we'll take that one. Nice upfront payment there. All right, wait for one more slot to open up. All right, contract proposal. We've got three sponsors, slot five, third, third, and sixth. If we can get a third out of it, vamos. We can get a third out of it. $1.5 million up front and $1.2 million per race. Yeah, that's going to be the way to go. We'll take that all day, every day. All right, so we got Vamoose on the side and ready to go. All right, rejected. There's no way I'm signing a deal like that. Forget it. We'll renew, we'll renew Falco. <laughs> All right, your status is important. You'll still be number one. Wages aren't very important to me. We'll try to keep you the same then, 477. A long contract. So if we sign Falco, we're going in for the long haul. Bonus size isn't very important. We can just sort of cush the deal. 54 and 54. Fine. Go. So now that he's considering, he won't leave us. We'll retract Simeon Crits and see if Ibarra is going to come on board. Insulted. All right, so we still got Falco. Falco may be... Uh, Falco may be re-signing here. All right, our contract for our engineer looks good to me. All right, we'll sign. So Toby is still there, 311 weeks together. That is insane. Accepted and renewed. 
Is there anyone else we want to try to snag up? Ibarra won't talk to us anymore. Dogger with Steinman. If we compare him to Falco. Better, better, better. Same, better, 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 better. About better. Nope, Dogger ain't interested. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay. See a Mia. But she... I mean, she's really good, minus the feedback. I don't know if she's interested. She is. Okay, Mia. How about this? You'll be number one driver. Wages are fairly important. We'll give you 781, a medium contract we can do. And if you don't mind, you'll pay it all. <laughs> a nice sign on fee. A million. And then we'll give you a bonus size. So, fifth or above, you can do 60. And if you win the race, you'll get another 60. How about that? Fuel supplier breakthrough. This is where all the money gets flushed down the toilet. They made a breakthrough in efficiency. At two and a half million for better efficiency, we never had a problem with fuel efficiency. We can't afford it. We are better off buying parts with seven million dollars for sure. All right, so Falco looks like he is all excited. And we gotta sign the contract within seven days. Now, if we look at the calendar, See, one, two, three, four, five, six. Contract proposal. One, two, three. Does it count this as day one? One, two, three, four, five. Because if it don't, we're all set. We'll continue until her contract proposal. Are we gonna sign or what? Getting a little antsy here. 24 hours. Well, in 24 hours, we'll have Mia proposed. And Falco just walked, didn't he? You wasted my time. There's no way I'm negotiating. So we lost Falco. But Mia isn't completely ticked off. So we really have to sign her up. So she's happy with everything there. Wages are fairly important. Let's go to 923. And you're really mad about the $1 million sign-on fee. How about a $2 million sign-on fee? And a... 96,000 for second or above. All right, so Ib, he's fine. He's our reserve guy. We're not going to worry about him too awful much. So I'm a free agent now. Well, good luck on you, Falco. Come on, do we get Mia? All right, so Mia Holgerson is now our new driver. We will sign her. And Mia will take the place of Molly Shax. All right, so we'll keep Enrique as the number two. Mia will be our main, and Ib will stay in reserve. All right, so that's going to hurt our per race benefit or per race race. But I think Mia will work out fairly well. The feedback is where we're going to struggle, but, I mean, Enrique is really good with that. But I think she'll race much better. At least that's my hope and, hope and goal. So we, we picked up Holgerson.
Now the question is, where will Falco end up? The press headquarters visit. Let's see. Team marketability goes down. Um, we've already signed all of our sponsors, so it's not like we have to worry about our thing. I don't want Enrica's morale to go down. Although, where, where is she sitting? Hmm. I mean, she should be okay, right? I just don't know how long this is. If it's within a, you know, a first two weeks, or, come on in. You guys were awesome last time. All right, continue on. Continuing on, continuing on. All right, painting the car. Tanaka and let us paint. So that was our car last year. Huh. I kind of like it. Let's do the ye olde flipping, though. Let's go red there and white there. Kind of the target car. Kind of got a Ganassi thing going on here. All right, sweet. We'll take it. So car's painted up. Car is built. New driver. Falco is uh, out the door with his crazy wives. And then as soon as we get the design done, we're going to start building apart. We're going to have to. All right, preseason testing this weekend. All right, looks like the car is not ready. They've got to test it, but as soon as testing's done, we're going to start building apart. All right, let's see who's faster up in this piece. Mia is already putting Enrica by two seconds. Yeah, I think last year our car wasn't too awful good in preseason testing. But we, we found some speed. Old Menzi. Did Falco land him a ride? I don't see him. So Falco, uh, he messed up. I think I want to go and uh, put him on favorite. That way we can sort of track him and see where he ends up in the grand scheme of things. Let's see. Sort by all. Sort by name. Go down to the F's and Falco. Put him on favorite. And right now he is unemployed. <laughs> well, sorry Falco. Alright, preseason testing reports and target. I think we can do third again. That's where I'm going for. And then we'll take the 26 million and go right to the car and start one, improving these parts. Uh, the engine is going to be first. Then the gearbox. Then the suspension. Then the, the brakes. Now, are those the, the best of the best? They're not. Let's focus on improving the reliability on the best parts. And then for the rest of the factory staff, go ahead and boost, 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 boost. But focus on repairs, please. Okay, yep. Yeah, now we need to build a part. Design a new one. We've got plenty of money. $1 million. Right now, our engine is 7th on the grid. 8th, 7th, 10th and 10th suspension for the medium corners let's take a look I'm not seeing a whole lot of suspension if I'm honest I think we'd be better served to do gearbox see gearbox would come in handy Reliability or plus 25 to max? We'll pop it. We're going to build like it's going out of style. Sweet. 
11 days before that build is done. So it'll be after Cape Town. There's the gearbox done on the day of the race. Work on the brakes. We will, Falco. Don't you worry. Don't you fret. And I think, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for the cleaning up episode. So a brand new driver in the... Uh, in the fold, Falco is no longer here. We have Mia Holgerson, who is a much better driver than Falco. Uh, better driver means we can afford to do the third or above more often, get paid, lose less money. Enrique is still hanging in there. Her contract's for another um, two years, so she's all set. Before we leave, let's see what happens, old Falco. Where is he right now? Still unemployed as the season starts. So we'll see as the, the years go by whether 33-year-old, who looks like a 50-year-old Falco, uh, ends up someplace. But that's going to do it for me. Like, share, and subscribe if you are so bold. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next Motorsport Manager video. Take care.